Welcome to the Master Wong Wing Chun training system. On this particular bit here, as you're watching through all our episodes, you will see a lot of movement onto the Wing Chun side, the punching, the kicking, understanding how to blocking, for instance. On this particular bit here, I will go forward you onto the dropping. When you grab your hand, how to deal with the situation, learn how to kick, and so on. But when you work in with this particular Wing Chun size, few things you need to understand is learning about the balancing, learning about how to using about the economic movement of your body. Without this understanding of economic movement, you will find very difficult to work. So here, I will show you a few of the movements that you need to practice with so you can understand how to work. Now, when you work with this, few things you need to understand here. First thing is, every time you start, you make sure your leg in like this, and then you feel that one, two, three. Bring your hand out like this. Now, when you work with this, it's learn about movement of the hand, and then this hand come down, punching and blocking on this. It's learning about the hand coming in. From here, you come in inside and then punch. And then from here, you're working from this side coming to punch. Now, from this particular learning of the punching like this, you start to understanding about the line of the body, the center of your body. Without learning, understanding about this head here, hand, one, turn, two, three, four, five. Now, when you're understanding this, every time you punch, you need to use your ways to put the power in from here, <laughs> from here, from here, the power from here. Second thing you need to understand when you work with this, while you're here, you need to know where the elbow will land when you need to land the elbow. That's when it's arm lock, you can land the elbow in. Same thing that when you work with this, here you can learn the elbow when it lands in. So from this, you can start to learn about the hand, where the hand is. From this particular hand, you can turn back to work with the punch side if you needed to, like this, like that. When you turn, make sure your leg is 70 and 30 when you work. Body slightly tilt on the side like this, so you can understand the line. The center of me is the line you need to work with. Without learning this particular center, you will find very difficult to work. Okay? That's when you're learning to understand the body. When you start to understand the body, you can come back to hit. You hit, you can turn, you come back, and you hit. It's an economic movement that you're working with. When you start to finish the movement then, hand like this, and feet coming in from here, one, two, three. Back like this, and then coming down. Now, depend how much time you want to spend on this. You want to spend as much time as you can learning to get to coordinate your body together. When you start to coordinate your body together, it will become more easy for you to work. Next bit, I will show you how to go in and learn about trapping and understand the forcing forward. Now, when you work with this here, you're learning to about the learning the hand here, like this. From here, you punch. And this hand coming in from here. Then from here, you start to punch like that. So first, you start to punch the hand and punch when you start to work like this. Then from here, this feet coming in. From particular, this feet coming in, this hand you need to understand coming down to block. So here, when you hit, and then back again here, when you hit, okay? So then you go back, 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 like that, when you work. So learning go one, like this, and then slap, two, yeah? So from here, learning to one, from here, like that, slap, and hand like that. So when you work on this line, like that, okay, when you work. Now when you start to learning this particular movement here, it's understanding the line when you block. <laughs> And the line is starting to block, and then punch when it starts to come into work like this. Okay? Now, when you start to work with this particular movement here, when you turn, it's like hand blocking, hand across. So learn about one, learn about two, learn about one, learn about two. This sort of thing is very, very useful. Without this learning, it's very difficult for you to work with the minute when you work like this. Yeah? <laughs> like that. Learning to understand here and then punch. Because from this particular movement that you're learning is you're attacking at the same time. That's why I mentioned to you before, 
is about economic movement. In a particular economic movement, you can start to make use of the hand because it's in center. As you can see, when you work with the hand, it's in the center like this. So you turn, for instance, on this line into the bong sao side, you start to come back here to understanding from here, you can understand how to move like that, okay? Very easily turn and then back, then hit, okay? Very economic and easy to use the, the arm to work with. What I'm doing is show you here so you can understand it with the person so you know how it works. From this particular training, you start to realize why when you work with this arm and hand, it makes it more, the movement more effective. In a very, very short time, can make your body work for you and put in the kick on when you have the person there. So if you start to working and find a partner, then I can show you here how to use in that particular technique. Let me boy you can tie. Now when you're working with this, first thing I will show you, when the pun come along, it's learning about the hand. Like I already just explained to you on the stepping in the hand, so it's like that, here. From here, this hand hit. Now two things I explain one here. First one I'm gonna to explain to you is about grab, when they come in to grab you. When your hand grab, you understanding about here, economic movement turn and then elbow. Yeah, that's the first exercise that you will learn straight away and will able to do the work. Second, when it grab, you can bring this hand in down, then drop this hand, then hit straight away, and that will deal with the situation you get in, that will fix it straight away for you. Otherwise, you can work on different technique. For example, when I learning this hand here, when it grab, I can put my fist down like this, even though we grab tight down like this, and this hand will come across like this, and my hand is straight into here, and I can straight away and put my movement in very quickly. This technique, it takes the movement and then use it right away when you work. Second thing I need to explain to you is when you punch, I turn myself to pong sao, as I already explained onto the first bit, of the episode about Bong Sao movement that you need to practice with on the Bong Sao side. How to use it and when to use the Bong Sao. Now, when you work with the Bong Sao, it's quite difficult to use if you don't understanding it. Okay, you got to get to understanding this. For instance, when you punch, you turn your body bang like this and then bring your hand like this across. As you see, when I bring my hand, his hand across, this is what happened. And that's where I break the arm down here and start to put some pressure into him. So when you start to working on this with your partner, when you're training there at the moment, for instance, need to understand about your opponent's hand a bit more so they can turn your body. And when you turn your body, you have to be solid enough to bring the movement of the bong sao out. So when you pun, you turn your body like this to the bong sao. So the pun come in, you turn. See, that's where like the whole wing block, if you want to do that particular movement. Then change position. Soon you change the position, this hand turn, and this hand, boom, punch. But reality term, you're not punching him in the face. Because I already mentioned to you that we're not promoting punch in the face. You will mess up the hand very easily. Then very difficult for you to control them later on. So what you're trying to do is not hit in the face, but stopping into the places. So the line come in your turn, drop, line, in the places. In that place, help you to understand it, breaking the arm down, okay, from here. That's what helps you to understand. If you punch the opposite side, you turn, it's exactly the same thing. The hand will drop, the hand will drop, come back, in the line into the throat here. And this line here, you're able to work with that straight away. That's the bong sao size that I explained to you on, to the, pre, on the first episode that I mentioned already about the bong sao. Now, when you're learning this particular bit on the bong sao, you need to understand it's a time and a place for using that. Now, next bit that I need to show you is when he starts to grabbing on my hand and how I'm moving from side to side. Now, when I, he punch me, I hear, and he grab, how I'm moving my hand to side to side. Now, two ways to doing this. When you get here, this hand must be turned here, from here, turn here, yeah? And then quickly bring it hand, and then hit him straight away here. 
That's one way to do that. Now, when you're doing that, two communication you might get. Maybe even the elbow, and then you get the elbow coming back because he's understanding the line. So when you hear elbow, it can be very difficult because you control the hand. Elbow, elbow, elbow. He won't be able to elbow you because you can eliminate the movement that you walk in. While you go into his body, you eliminate down the line of his body for him not to be able to react because of different line you put on. So that's when you need to understand when you work with this. When you're understanding this, then you can start to move around very easily. So I go through one of this particular movement that he's not going to grab me. As soon as I relate the hand up, he put the hand to block and I will change side very quickly. Now when you start to work with this, when you start to learning, learn about changing size, then I hit him for instance, then I changing size. This is as called side to side changing and understanding this particular line. Learn about this. When I doing this, always remember the hand, elbow me. It can be difficult because he cannot elbow me. He will be in the places where I want him. Because coming to me, that is in line here, that he not going to come again near to my body at all. Come in, it's going to be hard. This side coming in the same thing. Coming to me, that, it keep him out of the way. Yeah, out here. Coming to me, it's going to be hard. That's what this elbow here is that you need to eliminate. If you come in here, elbow coming in, that will hit you in the face very easily because that's bent. So we may show that it's not bent, and here elbow, it's not going to go anywhere. From here, I still can hit him. Okay? So that's the thing you need to learn about, Wing Chun size. It's learning to understanding where his body and where your body, learning about the distance. Next one I'm going to go through to you, it understanding how to go in down and using the leg to the kick to the shin. So when he punch come in, learning about that line. Now when he come in here, so what he here? Yeah, that's what I explained to you before. And that already coming in for the shin here. Boom, down here. Now when he start to learning this and he punch me other side, it's the same thing that I can understand. From here, I can easily working on this side because that's where I put my leg in here, across here like this. Now from here I flick. Every time I flick, I limited my body down, boom, down here. You don't see much of my body, upper body move when you work with this. And then you can start to work with this particular movement. Now, when you work with this movement like this, it's important to know where the leg is. Without understanding where the leg is, you will find very difficult to locate them. That's why in the previous program, I already explained to you that you need to control the arm. Let me explain to you again. When you come in here, you need to control the arm. If I hear, I can feel my leg in. I can punch because I in that particular line, so I can hit him here. And when you hit him, you will hit him hard enough in a close range, boom, down here. When he hit me this size, line, my hand can go directly to this eyeball, and that can be very nasty. Then I come in here, Control this line, I can work inside here if I need to. All this particular movement I'm doing, that he won't see what's going on. Maybe when he punch come along, learning to learn this line. Because if he punching, I'll be here. Soon I'll be here, I already understand the line here. And here, very difficult for him to learning where my body is. To locate my body here, I kick in him, I have my leg to the work. See, my upper body stay where they are. So that's the whole idea of learning this. It need to understanding where your body locate. When you understanding where your body is locate, then will become more easy for you to work. The body must be upright. And understanding about the inch movement or the power of your waist. The ways it play a very big role. So that's when you need to understand them. Without learning, understanding this, you will find big problem of using your body and moving around. This bit here that when you work, okay, it needs to do a couple of things here. When you punch come along, learn about the hand. While, when you practice, you see my hand come like this on the first episode. It's hand is guiding this arm down here. So for me to slide across, and this is what it helped me to understand. When he punched me this size, see, this hand is L 
hand at this. You see the hand is arm here and my arm at this line. See my arm in the line here? Must be in line at this. If I go like this, then slide, that will go straight into me. Okay, so you need to understand this. This hand here, sliding, is very difficult because I'm blocking this. My hand is here. So it's like the slide moving around with him. Okay, so when you start to work, punch coming on, one, punch again, two. See, this is like what is called slide coming in here. Now from here, as you're watching the previous one, when you get here, you're already understanding that my leg can come inside because of I sweeping and learning. So from this training here, you can learn to understanding this line here. Closing the gap here, so you know where they are. My feet inside here, and then I can sweep him down. Now when you start to learning that, a couple of things you can learn from here. So you go one, two, here. If you understand in the line here, where you boom, come in here, this bit here, when you're coming in, on this line here, you can go basically like this. Try to take him on the side, and you work. Into the Wing Chun side, you don't doing this particular thing. It's not that. A lot of people will, because you need to understand Wing Chun don't have this particular bit. Not designed for this. When you come in here, here, and then you come in down like this floor, and you come across to him, and then you punch him like this, yeah? This is what we do not do. Wing Chun Man do not bend like this and lean down and go down the floor doing this. They're up here to work. And that's what they do. That's why when you work with this, it's important to know Wing Chun is Wing Chun. Body weapon, Choi K D size is different. You will see we go and do everything. Down the floor, ground, everything is completely different thing. That's why this bit have to stick with the Wing Chun size. So when you're working, you need to understand it. When you start to learn in line, the hand, you need, if you want to take him down, you're forcing him here, and then you come in this side here. And from this, see the arm here into the elbow. That will land, and that will here. And that will force him enough to take him down. So in the way that you want to take him, you can take him any way you want. Another one I will show you, how to use his body and get rid of him on the size of using the hand to pull, control him. Now to pull him to control him, when you come in here for instance, how I'm like this, make sure that must be in this line here like this, yeah? And then when you come in this, you got choice. You can change the line into here, so closing the gap, and then bring that leg here, 70, 30, and get rid of him, boom, to get rid of him. That if you wanna get rid of him quickly and let him move out of the way and don't wanna play with him. And that is important you work with. If you're understanding this particular line, you can basically get rid of him any way you want. Difficult for him to work with you, see ya? Boom! Like that, yeah? So that's when you're in line. Learning to allow in the line. Punch in again, learning a line, okay? So you come in here, so you get rid of him like this, okay? That's if you wanna, don't want to play with him. But if you want to do play with him, then you one here, one here like this. Arm break down here, kick to the body, boom to the body here, and really control his arm here. Now, the idea is what we want to try to explain here. If you're doing this trapping, for instance, the first bit I explained, here, and then down here. If you do punching, not in the face, like this, like this, then if you want boom, 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 then you can do that. But learning to know in the body, like that, to understanding multiple movement. Multiple punch into the body, you need to understanding a lot about your ways. Without understanding your ways, very difficult for you to exercise a technique. So learning about here, ways, <laughs> ways. And that's how you work with this. Next exercise, I will talk to you on next episode about kicking. If you start to come into round kick coming in, you're learning about the hand. Learning about the Wing Chun, learning the arm side, how to get rid of them, like this, yeah? Like like this. Learning about how to work with single movement on this side. So when you come in the kick, I learn about the hand, okay? If you fun kick coming in, I would know about the arm, because this is all to do with the Wing Chun movement, this, yeah? Understanding where the body are. When I start to understanding where the body, it's easy for me to work. And psyche come along, I work exactly the same thing on the hand. So all this particular basic blocking, it's very useful. 
Maybe when he kick coming in, I can walk with the fun kick, for instance, boom down here, I can boom down here, I can boom down here, I can boom down here quickly. If you go into round kick coming in, I can turn boom coming here, I can boom down to this side. So this doesn't really matter if it started coming to kick, I still can show you how to deal with each situation. Each situation you deal with is very important that you need to know how to locate your body. A lot to do with the hand work, a lot to do with leg work, but the most important thing is anything below the waist. If you kick me low, so when you kick me low, I jump. Yeah, low, I jump. That's one thing. Kick me high, and using hand. Okay, kick me high, and using the hand. Kick me low, I jam him. Kick me high, I clear hand. This is really matter where my hand is. I may be kick, I may be turn this way. Yeah, using the arm, turning body. <laughs> or, if you kick me low, I would jump this side like, to breaking leg. He punch, I can understand the line. Straight away, learning the line, boom, punch me this side, learn the line, boom, down here. Bang, down here, come in, boom, down this way, to get rid of him. Each one I do, the movement, boom, down here, bang, down here. I control the line here, so I know where he is. I control the line here. Punch this side, I straight away, I kick it in, and punch me this side, I'm learning about the line as well. So I get rid of him this way. Thank you for that. So when you start to working onto this episode, I will teach you a lot to do with your body, how to move, where to move, and how to locate your body. When you start to understanding how to locate your body, they will become very easy and simple for you when you start to follow the Master Wong Wing Chun system. If you want more information on the DVD, the full three hour long DVD on the Siu Lim Tao, Cham Q, Biu Chi, Wooding Dummy, Self Defense, and the Fighting Art, then go to this website here and then you can see everything you need to know about martial art. If you need any more information, email to us, go to the website, email to us, or go to the forum. I'm glad here to help you. Thank you for watching, and I will see you again on to the next episode.